What's going on guys? And it's currently being taken over by Liv. And today, so today oh. it's not Scotty Restore Kicks. It's We Restore Kicks. Isn't that right? That's right. Mm. And what we're going to be doing and today, today we're okay, going I'm not going to talk to off you. White. We hope. So, wish us luck. All I see is icy, icy. All I see is icy, icy. Scotty restoring kicks, and all I see is icy, icy. Whoa! So guys, you heard it here. We're going to turn these. These are Air Max commands. We're going to turn these into some off whites, and uh, this is going to be our first custom together. My second custom, and uh, she's the artist, so maybe she can help me out and make these things super nice. We are really going to take these things to the next level. For instance, we have the laces here, the off-white laces, they shoe laces on it, and we have the zip tie, the official off-white zip tie that we're gonna put on the laces. So we're all ready. Wait, story time. Oh yeah, story time real quick. So he first got it and he was like, Oh, I think it's here. So he goes out and he comes back in. I'm not paying any attention on here. Oh no. Oh, oh, I didn't know it was gonna do that. He put the thing in the thing. Don't do it. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I wouldn't do I it, already put it in thinking, like, you can get it back out. And apparently, you, you can't. <laughs> so, um, I had to look up a YouTube video. So, if you guys want to know how to get your zip ties off your off way stuff, let me know. I can help you out. It only took me, like, two minutes, but I was freaked <laughs> out for a minute. So, yeah. But we're going to try this out. We really are kind of, what do you want to say? I mean, not really freestyling, but kind of like... It's a learning curve. It's a learning curve. Like, again, we don't know the whole mixing and all that. So, by us learning, we're going to let you guys know. Let me give you the perfect example. He tried to start without water. Yeah, I did. No. No, no, no. <laughs> Painting 101. So, what we're going to do is we're going to use this beige color. Um, I see a lot of the off-white, like the Air Maxes, they have this kind of color. Um, we are going to put some white with this, hopefully make it more creamy. Um, we're also going to do either a gray or a light gray. We haven't decided yet. Um, probably more of a light gray um, on the mesh portions. And then um, we are also are going to take the white and probably, I don't know, mix it with maybe the gray or something and make it that off-white um, color on just like the midsole portion. Okay guys, so we tested out the beige and I love the color. Don't even need to mix it with anything. It's a nice, light, creamy color. And so we're gonna try it out. I did tape up the shoe just because I'm not an expert at this. This is only my second time, her first time. Here we go. I'm gonna I'm a do like half the shoe, she can do the other half so we can test our skills out. So first coat, here we go. Okay guys, so we just finished the first coat. As you can see, there is the first coat. Not perfect, you can see, uh, you can see brush strokes and you can see that there is some white still left. We are gonna go back over that with a detailer brush. Uh, but for now, this is the first coat. It's gonna take probably two to three coats before we can fully see it without any of the brush strokes or any of that problems. And it's gonna be all one color that looks fluent and just like it came out of the factory. So this is the first coat. We have two, three more coats. We're gonna wait probably like 30 minutes, let this thing dry, and then we are going to put a second coat. All right guys, so it's been three coats that we have put on of our beige on the bottom, and these came out amazing. Um, obviously, there is still room for some touch-ups, which we are going to get to, and that's what I wanna let you guys know. 
What we're gonna do is we're gonna peel off all this paint and then we're gonna take our- Can we do it now? No, not yet. Oh we'll do it together though. Oh. The definer brush and we're gonna go over those spots where is still some white. As you can see right down a little bit near the, um, the icy blue, that is where majority of it is. Again, I don't know with the tape, once I take that off where that, those are gonna be. Uh, but for the most part, I mean, that's a pretty clean look right there. And I love that color. They won't see how clean it is until we peel the paint. All right. You ready? Yay. So satisfying. You might peel the tape though. Okay, so the tape is officially off and we did go over all of those little spots that needed some detailing just to make sure it has a better crisp finish. So here we are guys. That's the results right there. Check it out. Really clean, really clean look. I still have to put the finisher on, uh, but that is what we have right now. Again, I think this is a great color, especially for an off-white shoe. Uh, reminds me of the off-white Air Maxes. It has that same kind of color. And uh, yeah, so this is what it looks like, okay? Now that the finish I am doing on it is gonna be a matte finish, so hopefully it won't be as glossy. Uh, even if it is, I'm not too worried about that. Besides just this part, like I said, we're doing this beige in the back. We are going to be doing that tonight. So like right now, we are gonna be doing that. Tomorrow is when we're gonna start doing the other portions of the shoe. We'll probably pick doing either the mesh or doing the off-white in the middle. Uh, I don't know yet, but once we get there, we will get there and we will do it and it is gonna look amazing. I can't wait. I'm super excited, guys, and uh, check out the rest. So far, I am super pleased with how these are looking. Um, I'll show you it again, guys. Boom. Yeah, so we're gonna get right back into it. So here we go. All right, guys, so I did forget to put on the camera. So we did start on the next section of the shoe. Uh, again, I didn't. I told you I didn't know what color I was doing. I was trying to go for an off-white, but after looking at that beige, yep, you can paint over that. After looking at that beige, I want to go a little bit darker of a color so it blends better. And so while she's working on that, I did this side of the shoe you guys can see now this is obviously only the first coat so it will look a lot cleaner a lot smoother um, but that is the color I'm loving that color right now I did finish the back up the back is complete that was probably the hardest part because of this Nike part you got to kind of go around you can see I have a few mess ups there uh, but for the most part it's really clean and uh, yeah, I still do have to put a finisher on that. And like I said, this is only the first coat on that section right there with the lighter beige. I uh, put a lot of white in it so it can make it a lot lighter, but it also it blends good with it. Now, after I do two more coats of that, then I'm going to move on to the final stage, which is the mesh, which we're going to go with a light gray, probably add some some uh, white to that to make it even lighter so it can blend with all of this. And uh, we'll see how that goes with the mesh. All right guys, so I just got done doing the mesh. I did a light gray color. And also you can see I did put that little uh, fabric right here on each side of the shoe. I think it looks amazing guys. It is really clean. I mean, there's really minimal errors. Um, I did leave this white up here on purpose, um, along with this outer side right here of the sock lining. Uh, I thought it gave it a good accent. All right, guys, so we are officially finished with the shoes. Uh, we did decide not to do the words right in here. Um, we couldn't figure out a stencil that we could make on our own. Don't feel like buying one. So 
These ended up coming out really good though. Obviously you can see I put the zip tie on it, put the shoelaces in that say shoelaces. Um, and these things came out really good. What do you think? Yeah, this, I didn't realize this before cause I just wasn't paying attention, but I don't know if you guys are familiar with the brand, um, yeah, the all boys. Ray Dunn, oh. where they label things what they are, like bread or milk. Yeah, it, like yeah simple it's, words. Um, <laughs> they took it's the same the kind of concept. Of yeah, for sure. Shoelaces. Shoelaces. <laughs> I wish I had an example in case they don't know what I'm talking about. But if you do not ask, know, ask your mother. Ask know. your mom. Yeah. Exactly <laughs> now. But um, yeah, guys. So these came out really good. Um, my only critique would be um the back part which is better on one than the other. You can kind of see I have a little bit of a mess up. Uh, I was using that detailer brush, but it is very hard to do. You have to be, have a steady hand. And uh, next time I will probably try the toothpick me method just cause it's smaller. Um, but I mean, for free handing that and doing that, it's not terrible. And if that's the worst thing, I'm okay with that. The mesh actually was really easy to do and it didn't take long at all. Like I said, I ended up putting that, uh, that too soft in with it. And when I did that, it ended up making it more liquidy. However, it seeped down farther, which gave it that, um, that full gray color. Um, and then, I, you know, I got a little stylish in there, came up with some ideas. We didn't know if to do the whole tongue, just leave it white or do it all gray. And then I realized there was a little cutout. So I was like, let's just do the bottom part gray and then the tongue part white, add a little accent to it. I feel like with the shoelaces, it doesn't really matter anyways. Yeah, I mean, you can't, covered. you can't really see it, but oh. I just know it's there. You trying to break my shoe already? Don't break a table. I think the shoes are going to be okay. Yeah. So, yeah, now obviously the biggest question is, will these hold up? I don't know, okay? This is my really first custom. Um, besides those other ones I did, uh, these I don't know how Angelus paint works. I don't know if it's really good. I did put a matte finisher on it, the acrylic finisher. So hopefully I can keep it down. I'm also later going to spray a waterproof um, spray on it. So that way we can have that water repellent on it. And uh, yeah, so guys, this took, I mean, probably like two days, maybe three. However, it could have obviously been done in one. It would have took time. But the biggest thing is- The wait time. The wait time. It's about, between coats, we waited probably like 20 to 30 minutes to make sure it dries completely because you do not want to paint over wet paint. So we were, you know, really cautious. We don't have a heat gun. Uh, we were thinking of using a blow dryer, but I kind of forgot about it. So I didn't All that said, it. you still got to be really careful yeah. about whether or not it's dry. Because yep. like, I know like previous experience painting, I'd be in there with a fan of a blow dryer and then later it would crack. Yep. And I'd be very upset. I mean, so far we haven't had any cracking. I did put them on to uh, wear for a second just to to um, see what they look like on foot and I love the look of them. Um, also, if you guys are wondering what this is, this is literally just a ribbon, okay? And all I did was I took that um, the barge uh, cement glue and I put it to the top part and uh, this is like so sturdy. Like, do you feel how sturdy it is? Like it's on there. And it's supposed to be obviously off a little bit like that which is what I did on purpose. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it wouldn't make sense if it was just like. So these are our first custom off whites. Okay, let us know how we did in the comments. And again, these are literally like, I just came up with a design. This isn't a design I've seen um, or I'm like mimicking another one. Yeah, right, we hope. Or mimicking another one. The only thing I did was obviously put the off white accents. But besides that, I haven't really seen this colorway with a lot of beige like that. Um, I got some kind of ideas, but no one's done this. No one, to my knowledge, has done it on these shoes. If you remember, this looked like an old dad shoe. These Air Max Commands, look them up. If you don't remember, look them up. They look like an old dad shoe, like a monarch almost like. Mm -hmm. But after doing this, like, what do you think? They don't look like a dad shoe really anymore. No. Like, it, it kind of changed the whole perspective of it. Yeah, Which, but also I think the biggest thing is the lines. Yeah. So I feel like once you see the original shoe, you might be like, oh, it kind of does. But if you didn't beforehand, you wouldn't know just because the lines are different. and kind of did his own thing with that. So. Yeah, we uh, did some brainstorming and came up with an idea. So, yeah. 
But yeah, guys, so that oh, is our one more thing. Oh, one more thing. I think it's so funny you say beige, but as a girl, I'm like, oh, nude. Yeah. Yeah, um, but I, I feel like nude is a little lighter. Like, this would be nude. Yeah, still. I mean, nude is different depending on, you know, the yeah. complexion of your skin, but I still think it's funny. Beige. Sorry. Versus nude. Okay. It says beige. No, I'm just saying. It says beige. I'm just saying. Okay, guys, so that is our video. That is our first custom together. Um, if you have any questions or video suggestions or other customs you want to see, put it down in the comments. Also, don't forget to smash that like button if you like this video. And lastly, if you like this video, if you like this channel and you want to see more videos, what do they got to do? Subscribe. Yeah, subscribe to the channel and hit the push notification button so you never miss an upcoming video. Mm -hmm. So it's Sky to Restore's Kicks Be with some help man. from... Live resource kicks and uh, just live. I don't uh, need any. Extra. Just live. I, I lie. Just live. A jack of many trades, not just shoes. Yeah. There we go. Okay, so that's all I got for you guys today, and we are out. <laughs>